bit of cookery and we've joined oh. Millie's in the kitchen. <gasps> and um, wow, not wow, only wow, does wow, it wow, look wow. delicious, but it smells lovely as well. It's only ten past eleven, but I'm happy to be going <laughs> for it. You're nice ready for you. your kefta. So lovely to see you both as well. Thank really you. lovely to see you. So, what, what, what is this? What have we got here? We are having today chicken kefta, which are kind of hand mince, although I haven't used my hands to mince it or with a knife, use a food processor. I've got chicken thigh fillets in here. So you just blitz them? Blitz them in a food oh, processor. Oh, right, OK. Just, I much prefer the texture to doing that rather than using chicken mince. You, you still uh -huh. get nice bits of chicken in there. Mm. Traditionally... And you I'm, know what's in it. And you know what's in it. You know, you've, you've minced it yourself, essentially. So OK. So bought the, the fillets already boned and skinned. If you want to be economical, you could buy whole chicken thighs and then use the bones for a stock and fillet them yourself. Uh -huh. I don't have time for that. I've got two young children. So I'm quite happy buying the fillets <laughs> and popping them in the food processor. So in with that goes some... I've got some chopped red peppers oh here, mm. and they go in. Mm -hmm. And these have also been drained through a sieve as well, just to rid them too much of any excess Do you take the skin off? Of the peppers? No, no I good. don't. Okay, no, no. Lovely another... bit of texture, so I like okay. to keep the skin on. Got some red onion. You can use brown onions if you want, it's absolutely fine. I love the sweetness of red onion. And what you're going to realise here is I've got three different elements to that lovely dish that you've got on your plates mm. there. So there's a garlic sauce and a salad as well. And amongst all the recipes, I'm utilising the same ingredients throughout. I so... suppose, could you, if you wanted it slightly more coarse, just don't blitz it quite so much? Absolutely. But then beware that obviously when you're cooking the chicken, it might take longer for those big long. chunks right. to cook. So I think it's if you so can get lovely, the, the pieces the as uniform as possible, yeah. then it's it's much easier. So I've also got some fresh parsley. I've got some paprika here, lovely red paprika. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... I was going to use my measuring spoons, but I can't right, use them now, so I'm going to pop that in like that. And I'm going to add some pul biber, these Turkish red pepper I got that. flakes. Oh, I love that you've After got that now, Holly. Yeah. It just... They're, they're lovely and tangy and rich and beautiful. I've got dried mint, an underrated dried herb as far as I'm concerned, but something we use a lot in Turkish Cypriot cuisine. So both in salads and dressings as well as in marinades. So I've got some dried mint. And you'll find that in regions of Turkey as well, dried mint is used in the same way that we use it in Cyprus. Right. I've got some coarse black pepper. You could use ground, but again, I just love the depth of flavour you get from slightly more coarse ingredients. Mm -hmm. Some sea salt, like so. And we've got another favourite ingredient of mine, which is Turkish sweet red pepper paste, or dat the biber salt chasse. So this is the sweet one, and I've got two tablespoons of that. What was that called again? Tat le biber salt chasse. Do you want to say it? I wouldn't even know what. So what am I looking? What, what can I? If that's. If I said that, I, I love the uh, the diversion there to actually pronounce. He was like, "What am I looking?" Well, for? I was thinking because normally with these things, what I do is I, I taste it. I go, "That's amazing!" Right, I'm going to go and find it online. But I wouldn't even know where to begin. Of what to, I mean, I'm used to spelling anyway, but what, what would I... Could I just put in red pepper paste? If you Google Turkish sweet red pepper paste... Sweet red pepper paste, Because there okay. are two different types. Um, you get the mild version, which is the sweet one, and you get adje, which is um, very spicy, basically. So ah. if you love a bit of spice, you could absolutely use a spice oh, wow. one. If you really struggle to find it, tomato puree is fine. Okay. It just doesn't have that lovely sweet... This is, this is kind of almost sun-dried as well, so you get a really yeah. lovely yeah, sweet depth of flavour. Yeah, it's nice to have. OK. I'm going to go in with my hands. So I've taken my rings off as well. So we mush it all together. Now, once you've mushed it all together like so, mix it really, really well. This needs to be refrigerated um, because once it chills, it's a lot easier to shape because, as you can see, it's quite a loose mixture at the moment. So once you've done that... And you get this lovely mixture, like so. The flavours. I mean, it, it's mm. unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like layer upon layer upon something as you're eating it. It's so scrummy. And most of the ingredients, you know, you'll have in your spice cupboard. And if you struggle to find pool be better, you can use chilli flakes. I'm not here to be, you know, mm -hmm. snobby about the ingredients that you've got. Use what you've got. Or have. tomato puree, absolutely, like you said. So absolutely, absolutely. I'm just going to give my hands a gentle Could, wash. Can you... Because I'm just looking at the way you've cooked this, and we haven't got to that yet, and I can see that it's in a tray, so it's going to mm -hmm. probably go in the oven. Um, in these dying days of the little bit of warmth, can, could you, you can pop these on the barbecue. Yes, obviously. and I know you love using your barbecue, Phil, so absolutely. In fact, this is how this recipe started. So <clears throat> I would cook these in the summer. I cook these on barbecues um, on big, flat skewers, basically. They've got to be flat... Um, otherwise, these are susceptible to fall off. Now, these in Turkey, these are based on Adana köfte or Adana kebab, which are traditionally made with lamb. However, you need to be pretty skilled at shaping these on those flat skewers. So you use a lot of water um, to kind of shape them and you put ridges on them so that the, the mixture sticks to the skewer. We're cheating today and we're laying them flat on a tray so that they don't fall off any skewers, but we're shaping them in the same kind of way. So this lovely, long, rectangular shape. And if you use your fingers... 
to create these indents, you get that same kind of shape you would get as if they were on a, yeah. skewer. a skewer. So mm. it's a really easy way of doing them. Now, if you've got an, an air fryer that can accommodate uh, the cuff that are this size, then you could also pop them in an air fryer as well, because some, some oh. air fryers vary, obviously, in size. So I'm going to pop those in there, and while they cook, I'm going to whiz together the two lovely recipes I've got here to serve alongside okay. it. I've got a garlic sauce here, which I'm going to now use. Ah, here they are. My measuring spoons were there. Some runny yoghurt and mayonnaise. Really, really simple. Going to pop those in like that. And runny yoghurt is essential, otherwise you can't pour this lovely sauce. So if you want yeah. to pour it over, runny yoghurt really, really helps. I've got some more black pepper, which again is in the köfte kebabs. I've got some pulby bed. Again, again, you can add a little bit more if you want it more spicy. Is that what this is? This? Yes, that's Ooh, the garlic really dipping sauce. Yummy. Some more dried mint. We've got a lovely squeeze of lemon juice I'm mm -hmm. going to pop in there, just to balance out all those flavours. We are going to stink, but I don't care. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I made this for my husband <laughs> yesterday, and he said to me, my breath is banging, but it's delicious. So oh, we were all so like, that was fine. Got some parsley going in, and I've got a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And that's your lovely garlic sauce there. Super, super simple. And the last thing you've got on your plate is this delicious rice salad, mm. which starts off with hot rice, because if you dress hot rice, it soaks up all the flavours of that dressing. Oh. And in there, I'm going to shove all of this in. I've got parsley, which again is in the sauce and in the köfte. I've got tomatoes. You know, use up the ingredients in your fridge. Cucumber, most of us have that in our fridge as well. Some peppers, if you haven't got green, use yellow, use orange, use red. Not fast. Go in with some onions. Red onion is sweeter, so preferable, but you could use spring onions. And a really simple salad dressing of sea salt, again, nice and salty there. Got some dried mint, again, mm. my favourite flavour. Some lemon juice, freshly squeezed. And some lovely extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is just, again, a little bit richer in flavour if you're dressing salads etc. Extra virgin is the way to go. And you can always add a little bit more if you yeah. prefer to. Give that a really mint, good whiz. Because mint's a bit like a weed, and if you're lucky enough to have a bit of space and you've got um, mint in the garden, then it grows like a weed. Can you dry your own? Absolutely. So that's okay. again... You. Yes, absolutely. Pick it, dry it, you know, wash them, then dry them on um, paper towels and let them dry out on paper towels. Obviously, if it's sunny it, and, and the weather is dry, it's a lot easier to dry. But, yeah, absolutely. If you go to Cyprus, that's how everybody... And then would you just blitz it up? With your hands. Oh, so I see. You just dry like so it. much. Yeah, you just got to wait until it... Like we do almost up. with oregano in Italy when they have those all hanging. Exactly oh, the I same. See. So if you let them dry out and then just crumble them up with your hands. It's even nicer, really, because you get bigger mm. flakes. Again, consistency is different. Yeah. So definitely, because it does grow in abundance like, like wheat. Even so. I can grow mint. You can. You've Having got this. <laughs> you know, you know, you know with the, the, it's the <laughs> yes, leaves. Yes, 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 I know it's the leaves. <laughs> it's not the root. Yeah. <laughs> Although yes. you could... Yeah, yeah, not the root. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I, I mean, that is as simple There's as There's a flatbread is. here, but that's just to dunk everything in and mop everything up, is and it? And what it's you not... can do with that flatbread is, obviously, when these come out of the oven, mm. what you can do is you can pop the juices or use the bread to soak up the lovely juices in the flatbread as well. I'm just going to use my hands to do this, mm. actually. I'm going to pop these down on here, these lovely köfte. So, they are really delicious. And do you know what? Like you said, Phil, you can pop them on the barbecue as well. Mm. And actually, if you don't, um, if you wanted to, you could fry them. People always think you have to fry köfte or, you know, meatballs, but actually cooking them in the oven, you can see as long as you've got enough oil and you've got enough other flavours in there, they stay just as juicy and delicious yeah. as they would if you, were, oh, if you were frying them as well. So they're absolutely fine. And then that lovely sauce over the top. They're really lovely. The verdict. No. What do you um, mean? Absolutely lovely. Yeah. And you could and you could just finish them off on the barbecue at the end. You say you know so because these that's that they're, they're flaky. But they're, I watched you as you took it out of the tray there, and they're holding up together enough. Yes, actually... or if you've got a mm. grill, you could place them directly on the grill. Just brush your grill with some oil first. Yeah. And you, or you could shake them into round patties. You could shake them into smaller köfte so they cook quicker. They're lovely. Completely up to you. They're really versatile. Yeah, they so are. Thank you. I feel so delicious. Enjoy. I'm so pleased you enjoyed thank it. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.